Diversity 2. I had to redo this video because the sound was not good. Now I had a, a problem with my um, heater uh, inlet hose T. It was old and it cracked. I was cleaning my engine and accidentally um, put too much pressure on it and um, a tip of it broke off. So I thought, well, I'm just going to um, replace it the next day. So um, I parked my truck and took my car to take care of my business. And when I went to replace or take off the old part that had broken off so I can replace it, it was about 12.88 for the part, another section of this T uh, inlet connector broke off. I thought, okay. I don't have time to replace the whole thing. So what I did was, I hacked it. But I didn't realize later on that um, the actual replacement part wasn't that much. But I, I wasn't sure, and I, and I didn't have time, and I was just going to hack it until I had had the time to do it. So I took a piece of an air hose, I took my drill and drilled inside of this piece that had, actually the second piece that had broken off of this inlet heater hose um, tube fitting right up on the firewall. I took my drill and drilled a hole, and I took a piece of a um, air hose that um, I wasn't using, and I cut it a length. I took my torch, I took my torch and heated up the, um, the threads on my air hose. Begin to screw them inside of this plastic T fitting, and it made its own threads when it hit the when the hot threads hit this plastic. And I thought, well, this is going to work fine. I got that part in, and I reconnected my um, upper um, inlet radiator hose or heater hose and drove off. Put a clamp on that and drove off. While I was driving, there was just a very small leak that landed on the engine and we have all of this steam coming out. Didn't look good. Now, I could have made a small um, gutter to redirect that little leak to the side to keep it from landing on my engine and took and drove for a while and until I was ready to fix it for real. But I wasn't in the mood for that either. So I scrapped the whole thing. But that would have worked if I would have, if I would have went ahead and did, made, made, just redirected that little small leak off of the engine. It would have worked fine. When I found out how cheap the part was, I thought this, this was ridiculous. This was a waste of time to even try to hack it. Go get the part, put it on. And when I went and got the part, I wanted to make sure I had the proper tools to get it on to keep from wasting time. So I bought the tool. The problem here was there was there was not any room to take this connector off with this tool. My transmission tube was in the way near the firewall. That was the lower part. There was another section that was um, behind the firewall under the crow's nest that this tool could not go around the piping open up and reclamp to pull this connector off the space wasn't there so I could not use the tool now my result was to I need to get this done and I'm going to get it done today so I'm the great hacker I got my hacksaw removed the blade 
and I had to saw this fitting off. Now there was a smaller tool that they sold and um, I went to do two different places. No, I, I, I went to one place and they told me that you have to order it and the other place said the same thing online. You have to order this little small tool that could do this. Didn't have that kind of time. I took my hacksaw blade and slowly saw the top, then the bottom of the small uh, section that was sticking out from the firewall and popped it with my flathead screwdriver. It came off. But the larger connector of this T-fitting of the upper inlet um, heater hose was between the crow's nest and the top of the firewall. Didn't have the space. I had to climb on top of the engine and take my hacksaw and slowly, carefully saw the top of the connector off, then the bottom of the connector had to make a split on the top and the bottom, and I was able to take my flathead screwdriver and pop it off, and that part was done. Replacing it um, was a snap. It was a little clamp that went on first, then you just slide the teeth fitting on the top, the teeth fitting on the bottom, you're back in business, reconnect your hose, put the clamp on, and you're good. Now virtually to replacing your um, inlet um, heater hose on this 2004 Yukon Denali four-wheel drive. This is what I did. I tried to hack it at first. It was a waste of time. When I got the original part, put it on, and this is how I did it. I had to redo this video because of the sound I listened to it, I can't even hear this on my phone. So uh, the sound was awful. I virtually took it. Replacing a um, broken or worn inlet heater connector on this Yukon Denali.